Hi, Iowa. Your state has a great history of, of being progressive. In one case, it voted that all in Iowa are born are free. And in another case, that a woman could practice law, even though three years before, a California Supreme Court said that they could not. Also, the Supreme Court in 2009 of Iowa said the gay and lesbian couples are covered under equal protection under the law in the Iowa State Constitution. They paid for this or were punished for it in the retention races of 2010. And this was not the intention of those races when it was passed in 1964. Simply put, right now, Justice David Wiggins is, is in the hot seat as he comes up for retention. And now Iowa can battle back that tide in, of 2010 and keep Wiggins on the Supreme Court. Justice Not Politics is a group that was formed so that D David Wiggins, uh, basically to support him. But another part about this is simply that the retention races were being abused. And this is by far the worst case I have seen, especially with what happened two years ago. Simply put, Iowa, you have a decision. This was an impartial ruling. This ruling could have been written by any judge. This ruling could have been written by a person or a, a court that had understood the simple fact that Iowa's long tradition of progressive values, of an inclusive society, and a society where there are equals, and no one is observing it, no one group is observing it to another. This is simply one of the craziest attacks that I've ever seen in a state court. Now, the court should not be held accountable to the people. It should be held accountable to the constitution upon which they are presided or they are appointed and uh, voted in, or ho however, however it's done, to preside over. Don't let a bully win again. You've got round two. Round one, dismiss three. There are four that are to be uh, that that are to be up for uh, retention, and I am hoping that at that on November seventh, two thousand twelve. Justice David Wiggins will still be on the Iowa State Supreme Court, and the other three need to be protected as well. Simply put, the retention races were not made to punish a, can or a candidate for an unpopular ruling. It was to keep the court fair and impartial, and the three justices that were dismissed in 2010, their records are so nonpartisan that it's not even funny. So let's keep Iowa State Court nonpartisan. The governor has appointed three white male Republicans to the bench. And he'd also tried to get a ban placed in the legislature, which backfired when a Democrat kept that seat. Not only that, but in 2014, you need to vote him out as well. And you need to make sure that when you elect that new governor, that he will appoint people to the bench who are fair, impartial, and will keep in and will keep to heart Iowa state values. Hate is not a value that we should be proud of. This race is so important because of the simple fact that if they are if the conservatives are allowed to win then it will be a rubber stamp court for every religious right issue. Don't let your state court become a mockery of the values which defined it. Have a great day, YouTube.